morning, everybody. Uh, I know no one's here yet. Y'all are still going to be coming in, but for those who watch the stream later, uh, tonight we're going to be interviewing Beacon Boy, uh, Saves the Day, uh, the CEO of Galactic Calling Solutions. Um, you there, Beacon Boy? Yes, I am. All right. And um, so you're, you're going for a CSM. You, you're starting a grassroots uh, sort of campaign, from what I understand. And you're offering free hauling. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. Uh, if you uh, create a paid contract to my uh, corporation, it's been around for a decade, Galactic Hauling Solutions. Uh, when I win uh, the CSM election, I will give you a free load every month through 2023 for the alt that you created that uh, contract with. All right. If you have other alts and you want to create other contracts, hey, go for it. So we'll touch on that a few times uh, tonight, but uh, first let's let's talk about you, you know, Beacon Boy. You don't have to tell us, you know, where you work. I don't need your social security number. But what do what do you do? Like me, I'm I'm in sales operations. I'm in the solar industry. I'm in this, I'm in sales operations. You know, what what do you do? Well, I probably should be in logistics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know a lot of jump freighter pilots who are. Uh, I'm actually in tech. Uh, and uh, I played the game for 15 years. Uh, been focused pretty primarily on hauling. Uh, Ten of those years were with this low sec courier service. I, I, I cycled through the usual ones, the, the black frogs, the push X's, but I decided to go out on my own eventually. Okay. And so you, you said you've been playing Eve for, you said, 10 years? 15. 15? Uh, yeah, 15. 15 years. And, and I've had the uh, Galactic Calling for 10 of those years. Before okay. That, I did a few other things, uh, you know, went out in the null sec, uh, and, and, you know, did a little bit of industry, uh, but stuck pretty primarily to hauling. I, I keep coming back there. Oh, wait, I did, I did uh, blops, hot drops before Bomber Bomb. <laughs> yeah. Dirt, dirt map squad, if anyone uh, got to, uh, wants to date themselves. <laughs> uh, and then, um, so... Tell us about your corp. Tell us about GH Soul. So, Galactic Hauling uh, was created after cycling through some of the other ones, finding them to be overly expensive and overly complex. The principle, of course, customer focus, what corporation or courier service isn't, uh, but it's also simplicity, transparency, let's keep this simple, low, no drama. Uh, don't have a calculator because uh, it's flat rate. Uh, All right. We have, go ahead. No, I was just saying that's all right. You know, flat rate. Yeah, yeah. So no distance. Uh, basically, the the only limitations really are the amount of ISK. We're not just going to move, you know, tens of billions of ISK. You know, it's a big risk to us for the collateral that we have to put up. Um, it's it's four billion ISK gets moved in three hundred and sixty thousand meters cubed uh, anywhere but null sec. And uh, we don't do citadels, but that's the other thing. What space. about wormhole space? Uh, wormhole space. I only know one place that ever did it, uh, and they ended the, uh, and I believe they ended the service in, um, in the sense that um, it uh, it didn't end up being profitable. There weren't many customers. Gotcha. Most people, I guess, are shipping out of wormhole space than into wormhole space, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would think so too. Uh, I think Thera. Was, am I saying that right? Thera was uh, the focus, but uh, um, you know, it, it also you know pretty complex and. I think there's a lot of risk involved, but that's my yeah. answer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, so, uh, you know, la last thing I want to ask about about you, about Beacon Boy, uh, what is what is your favorite ship? Oh well, um, I flew the Nomad. That's a jump freighter. Uh, for most of the years, I've, I've hauled, and I like it for the agility, meaning it aligns very fast, I think sub 14 seconds, which for jump raiders fast. Um, and it also has the best fuel eco economy, but it has the smallest cargo hold. So a couple of years ago, after customer after customer kept twisting my arm saying, I want to move more, you know, and I want more for my ISK, I ended up uh, switching everything over to Reyes. So my whole fleet is now Reyes. And uh, that gives me the largest cargo holds and uh, they're, they're reasonably. How do you spell that? <laughs> Rhea, uh, or uh, I guess Rhea, R H E A. Maybe right. I'm saying it wrong. So. Do you fly it with a skin? Do you put a dress on? No. 
<laughs> you fly it na naked. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those things where um, if if you want to talk about this, um, you're going to lose your jump rear a bit eventually. Um, and my reason for saying that is, uh, and you don't want to attract attention to yourself either. That's the other thing. Um, and so skins kind of run counter to both of those. Um, the, the reason I'm I'm also saying this is. Uh, you're trying to keep a low profile, and uh, um, I lose a ship probably once a year. Um, the trick to jump freighter hauling, for anyone out there might want to do it, is to increase the number of completed contracts between gankings. It's not a really pleasant thought, but um, you know if you can stay above 100, that's a one, you know, less than a 1% failure rate, you can always replace your jump freighter and keep going. It's not going to be pleasant. You're not going to make a whole lot but you know i met about somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred between gankings okay so you're pretty good at this <laughs> yeah, for a long time yep. yep all right so uh i understand that you're you're going for csm uh when when everything you know comes back around uh what who is your target demographic? Who are you representing? The haulers, <laughs> of course. Okay. Um, but uh, I see it being more than that. Uh, shippers, that's the other side of the equation, obviously. Uh, but even industrialists, uh, I've done a certain amount of that. I certainly support a lot of it. Um, and, and when you get right down to it, almost anything you're going to do in EVE has hauling underpinning it. That's one reason why I think this free shipping offer might be appealing to the folks who are voting. Um, you might not be able to see a need for it now, but to have it there in your hip pocket once a month, any time, it's a very low investment and a lot of return. And it'll support all sorts of things. Um, with, when it comes time to put up the uh, uh, my platform, uh, I will be pointing out, you know, a PVPer who loses a ship, as an example. Right. You know, right? They wouldn't take advantage of this. Don't worry, it's coming out. It'll be like and, you know, a corporate leader who wants to go and show all, all his people how to do logistics easily and cheaply. That's another one who should be listening to all this, right? Uh, when you're dealing with a trader or the industrialist, they move cargo all the time. I, uh, buyback services. I, I work closely with some buyback services and uh, handle the back end for them. Uh, even a large uh, faction warfare alliance is currently working with me. Uh, and then, uh, you know, even new players who are just going to go from one corporation to another, uh, there's that underpinning for hauling again, right? Right. <laughs> so, uh, basically, you, you're you representing almost everyone is, is your stance. Anyone who ever needs anything anywhere, you're representing those guys. Yeah, it's not necessarily obvious, but when you think about it, it'll, it'll come to <laughs> <laughs> Well, all um, right. You know, there's also a lot of improvements that can be made. Uh, the contracting mechanism has needed an overhaul for a very long time. Decades? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're coming up on the 20-year anniversary. I'd say decades at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could certainly be that. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is, is it needs more flexibility. Uh, I, I'm a moderator on uh, Holler's channel. Uh, okay. Well group uh, and uh, hundreds of people, uh, haulers and shippers. Uh, getting together and uh, they've always wanted to be able to have bonuses that are tied to time you can set a reward in a deadline right wouldn't it be nice if you could also set a additional bonus it'll be taken out of the shipper's wallet and returned if they don't you know make the uh, quicker deadline right but that would be a good example um, another one improvement that I can think of off the top of my head would be uh, triple wrapping uh, this is something NullSec alliances would really use because it allows you to pass a plastic wrap, by, uh, which is you know a, 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 a packaging of cargo that can't be you know, dipped into by right. the hauler. Right? You wouldn't want to see a few of your items in spear, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and it allows it to be passed along. Uh, right now, you can double wrap, but a lot of the courier services use that already, and so the triple wrapping would start allowing passing a plastic wrap through different sets of hands. And okay. Then I, 
know, I had some other wilder ideas like hybrid contracts and, and what, but uh, I'll save that for later. <laughs> so basically, you would be promoting, you know, revising some of the existing systems for contract work. Yeah, and in another area, I, I was interviewed by CCP a couple times, and, and I really feel they overlook hauling as a career. Uh, the Air Career Program, you know, they interviewed me uh, about, you know, whether I thought it was, you know, uh, being, whether it's easy to follow and the like, and I sort of said, well, you're missing hauling. It's not even in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and they also interviewed me at one point about uh, recruiting and tools for that, and you know, obviously, you have to do a lot of recruiting, but my type of recruiting is very specialized. You know, I, I, I have to get look for jumper air pilots and generally very experienced ones. So, uh, not the usual type that like the Null Sec Alliances are doing in large amounts. <laughs> right. And so, are you? You said you are recruiting right now, hauling haulers. Oh well, yeah, we've been staffing up because when I win the CSM election, we're going to have a lot of work to do. And, all those jump rear pilots I've been hiring, uh, we're about uh, 12 at this point. Um, okay. Would would, uh, would start dipping quickly into my wallet as everyone's car goes. <laughs> They're going to be pretty busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm actually right now uh, doing, doing bonuses um, on to, for completed contracts just to see who's performing well. Uh, okay. Bringing in anyone and everyone I can and seeing who really moves the cargo. So, uh, when when does the next and, and CSM? I should, I should say one more. Thing. Sorry, to talk over you there. Um, and that's coming out of my wallet already. So I'm already dipping into my wallet just for those bonuses. This is above and beyond what the customers are paying the haulers. So, right. Go ahead. So when when is the next CSM voting? When it, when is the next campaign starting? Yeah. Well, uh, I, I I posted something on the forum, and they and, and they got back to me, and and they said soon. <laughs> I think they trademarked it. They put a little TM by it. Or, no, no, it wasn't. It was, it was one of the CSM members was, was pointing out it should be happening soon. And then I think I got another report saying they were going to make an announcement uh, along with possibly releasing a CSS note so, It's next week or this week or next week. Okay. Uh, but much, traditionally it would be in June and it would go for four weeks or so. Um, the actual election itself is you voting by putting 10 of the 30 names in a row, or 10 of the 30 names saying, uh, you know, I want any of these 10 serving. Um, I believe that's how it works. And um, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm pushing to say, you know, go, hey, you know, I understand there may be other people you want to vote for. Uh, put me number one, though, and I got the best chance of getting you that free shipping. And, and, and you can give the other nine slots to, you know, the whoever your NullSec Alliance folks tell you to vote for, you know. They can't tell, <laughs> they, they can't tell who you individually voted for. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. So when when that opens, CSP will tell us all about it in the next couple of weeks. Um, there'll, be, there'll be a formal application process, and there'll be a spot for my platform. And you, right now you can, of course come to the GHSOL channel in game and you'll see my pre-announcement and all my earlier efforts ahead of this. All right. And so that's all the boring stuff. We got all the boring stuff out of the way. Now let's talk about hauling. Uh, so what I do on my interviews is I do what's called a ride along. Uh, when I interviewed Phantomite a few weeks ago, uh, we did some low set roaming, but you don't do, you don't necessarily do direct PVP. Uh, you do what's you effectively perform a style of market PvP with hauling. Um, and anyone can argue whatever they want. Everything you do in EVE Online is a form of PvP. Would you say so? Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it's uh, from a hauling perspective, it's, it's a sort of a cat and mouse game uh, between gankers and the haulers. Uh, it, it's a very nice balance. Uh, I, I'm not saying I like what the gankers do, uh, <laughs> but, you know, I, I see its purpose, and, uh, you know, it will inevitably weed out the weaker haulers, the ones who don't pay as much attention. All right, and I believe you had a you had a game for us to play tonight, right? You wanted to do a little bit of, of uh, hauling competition? I think you already yeah. sent me a contract here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, Beacon Boy has sent you a contract. I have put... 10 spiced wines in your hand uh, in your hands 
Uh, I need one million isk as collateral from you. I hope your wallet's got that much. Here, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and accept this. So. Well, uh, why do you accept it? Is it on uh, your, your? You got the picture there? Ah, yeah, great, great. And so you can see there is one million. And if you get it there, I, and I don't know how many days I gave you. I you gave me one day. I have 24 hours. <laughs> 24 hours. Uh, but th that's not the real race. That, that's not the real thing here. We're going to do a race to see who can get there even faster, like in the next 10 minutes. But what I was going to say was, um, uh, I will pay you 100 million if you get it there. So real, real fast, while we're talking about contracts, let's. I'm going to close this. Out. I'm not going to accept it yet. Let me go in here to uh, let me finance contracts. Let's let's talk about courier contracts for a second because this is what you want to like this is what you want to help overhaul so i'm going to courier contracts how does this work i uh by the way i just comboed you there because uh, i'm going to send you a link to a contract real soon. all right okay um so the courier contract has a few areas there um and where'd that uh, where'd it go hang on uh, are you are you setting up right now? Oh, there it is. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you're you're setting up, right? So you you can you can make a contract, and there's a few variations, but the courier contracts is what we'll be focusing on today, right? Yes, sir. And uh, you would, and this is what I've already set up for you. Uh, you would highlight a few items, maybe right there in your hanger. Uh, you would right click and say create contract. Uh, it would then pop up uh, a, a setup, a set a series of setup screens, and you would, you know, basically say courier going. In this case, it's going to be private to Mike, right? And uh, that way, it didn't go to the public queue because you could send it to the public queue, and then anyone can grab it, right? And yours would have disappeared really fast <laughs> right. uh, if I'd done that. Uh, at that point, having uh, set up the private one to a person, um, you can set up to me if you want. Uh, you can see it's highlighted already, the one that you checked. But if there were more there in your hangar, you could still expand it. Like sometimes right. people don't list their ships or their items. You'd list your, you'd click off your ships here too. You don't necessarily have to uh, package anything, but if you don't package your ships, it's going to be fairly sizable, right? Right. <laughs> uh, well, let me uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, show uh, people what what you mean by that. So uh, your ship has two volumes. <laughs> one is when it's unpackaged, and one is when it's packaged. Uh, so that's what he means. If you have it unpackaged, it's about 10 times the size. At minimum, I think some are uh, you know, 30 times the size. Uh, but keep, keep going. We're <laughs> keep going. So I just linked a contract to you, uh, if you don't mind me just branching off for a minute in our... Sure. Chat. And that's the one I'm going to do. So after we set this up, I want to talk about that one, okay? All right. So... Okay. Uh... So uh, when you set up... The, when we, flipping back to the topic at hand, uh, when you uh, set up the contract, you, uh, you know, indicate rewards, collateral, uh, destination. You, you might even put a note in um, and then you get to a final confirmation screen, and that should have everything spelled out. You know, for example, if you had made the uh, contract to Galactic Calling, you'd see Galactic Calling's name spelled out there, even if you just used the short five-letter ticker symbol, right? G-H-S-O-L. It would expand out the full name, making sure this is really who you want to do. And then you push, uh, I guess, complete or whatever it is. Yep, there you go. You're doing it right there, uh, or you're, you're setting up the... Uh, rewards you know and, and like and then uh, you can put a note in there saying uh, I need this by you know three o'clock eve time right or uh, you know no hurry on this one whatever we get all sorts of notes in there <laughs> uh, and then on the next page it would uh, you'd actually commit it and uh, create it all right so I do that there you go and I just heard a beep. Did you hear my beep? It arrived. Now, hold on. All right. Uh, right now, it's in my hands. I could accept it, and at that point, you know, the, the collateral would be pulled from my wallet. 
Uh, I would get your items in a plastic wrap, I would start moving it, and when I arrived at the destination, it'd hand me back the collateral and your reward. And you'd have all the items sitting in your hand. Uh, however, uh, oops, you did keep going. Uh, I was going to say, you might want to delete that, because we're not going to use it. <laughs> Let's see, industry, uh, finance, contracts. Yeah. So delete. There we go. And that should, oh, it refunds me the 10. <laughs> yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. Is that yours or which one was that? Was that me? You? Okay, you got it. All right. Um, so uh, if you could be kind enough to click on that link that I sent you in a chat in game, uh, I'd appreciate it. I don't see the link here. Uh, I have a combo going with you under one of your chats. Here, let me start a new one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, go ahead. Start a new one. That's fine. Okay. So you're linking a contract. Yeah, linking contract. Give me one. Give me one. Okay. So pull, pull that contract up is, is what I was hoping to do and, and go over. It's very similar to what you've just done, but it's more realistic, in my opinion. Okay, so uh, you're... So this contract more realistic. It's, it's what I'm actually going to accept right now. All right, and so you're you're going to be leaving from the same station as I am. It looks like, and you're going to yep. uh, hate HQ as well. Uh, yes, I am. That's where that contract's going to. What what are the other details you see there? Uh, looks like the collateral is four four billion. Uh, how, long, how long do I have? And you have three days. <laughs> no, complete in three days. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you have to complete in three days. Okay, so you're moving quite a bit of stuff, uh, and you have three days to do it. This is correct. I'm, I'm madly clicking as I move it into my cargo bay. Here. <laughs> there we go. So obviously I can't accept. If I try to click accept, what will happen? Uh, I've accepted it already, so... Oh. <laughs> Oh, here. Let me let me pull up the contract you have me have me doing now. What? Now you said this is going to be. So I'm going to accept this real fast. Yep, exactly. Uh, yeah, and my collateral out. is a million. Now, if, so the collateral. If I lose, if I lose this, I lose a million. Is that right? Yeah, but if you deliver it, you're going to make a hundred million. <laughs> All right. It's a lot like Cannonball Run the movie. <laughs> so I have it in my cargo. I learned that during the uh, during the career agents. Make sure you have it in your cargo. So, uh, all right. I, I guess uh, I guess we're racing. Is that right? Well, that was the idea. Uh, I have my pod outside the station, ready to go. Uh, this is a signal because I fly jump freighters. You're doing a little simpler uh, way of moving cargo. You're, you got it in, I guess, a rifter or something like that. Yes, and sir. You you can do it all with one account. I have to use two accounts. One is a Sino alt that lights those Sinos. You'll see one, by the way, in uh, uh, Hyde uh, uh, HQ when you arrive there. Hopefully, you'll see one because that means I will beat you, I will beat you there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, get, and then I have a jump freighter alt that's currently sitting in the station. So what kind of tools do you use to like figure out where you're going? Uh, it, like, because I, I know like you don't just take a jump freighter through yeah. low sec. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to gate at all. I'll stay near stations. It means that uh, it's very hard to catch me. Um, but uh, I use uh, dot lamp, and I think I gave you a link a little earlier. Uh, oh, is that what that was? Hang on. No, that's what that was. That is a route for a jump freighter. Oh. I had a link broke when I tried to post it. <laughs> it's that comma. That comma broke it. Uh, but, uh, okay, so it looks like it has you ju making two jumps, one from Alparena to Dower, then Dower to Hadley's. Uh, well, I may not take that route. Uh, one of the nice things about sticking to low sec hauling uh, with the jump freighter is you always have alternatives. Okay. And so I'm going to use quicker ones. Um, 
there is a speed limit when you haul with a jump freighter or move any capital. It's called jump fatigue. And what that means is I accumulate it. Uh, it's not that hard to avoid accumulating it, but it does generally act as a speed limit. The rule of thumb, if you want me to express it in this very simple term, is you wait in every station for 10 minutes. Ooh. Yeah, because if you do that, jump fatigue doesn't increase, and hence you can see the speed limit. Six jumps an hour. Now, I can break the speed limit, and I can go and do 10 jumps in an hour, or even five jumps in a row. But then that jump fatigue that I was mentioning starts increasing and inhibiting my ability to do the next jump. I won't go into the details. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, okay, and, so, oh, good. Uh, no, I guess, uh, when do you want to start? Uh, my, my pod's outside the station, ready to go. Okay, then we'll start on, on uh, zero. I'll count down three, two, one, zero, and then the race will be on. Yeah, uh, if, if, if you hear pauses in my uh, discussion with you, it's because I, ever, I have to click away to do things, you know, in-game. Okay. Yeah, so just be patient, and I'll be back you know, five or ten seconds later. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I guess uh, three, two, one, zero. I'm in docking. I'll be jumping, you know, straight through these seven jumps to Hade. Um, we're gonna we're gonna hope I'm not gonna get gate camped. Uh, doesn't look like there's a lot of viewers right now. <laughs> so maybe maybe there's not anyone waiting for me. There's uh, a rifter. There, there, there's a rifter, and there is the bandit. <laughs> All right. Smoke. smoke. Smokey is, is still, you know, in, in the uh, station waiting for the bandit to get to the midpoint to jump. Uh, All to right. And, and then, so, uh, I do have a lot of Galmil viewers that come through. They watch my streams every now and then. Let's talk about uh, the Galmil front for a second. I understand that you're also paid by some Galmil corps to haul from several places to Gamel space and yeah, inside Gamel space. There's a bunch of citadels that uh, Hungary had set up, and they approached me back in June and wanted to uh, work out an arrangement. Uh, and they have been handling all the payments needed so that they can extend free hauling to the whole Gamel alliance, an organization, basically. They, uh, they I handle centralized billing and uh, co I combine uh, loads. And um, it's been going now like gangbusters for 10 months now, I think, almost a year. Uh, th 3,000 uh, contracts so far. All right. Uh, I think you sent me another link earlier. Yeah, you have to click the All tab, but you, it keeps a, a complete history of everything we've moved. Let me see if I can find that link real fast. Uh, I'm going to pop that in as well, and then I'm going to see it's if I can... Auth it's just authorize in our, in our uh, chat. So let me, let me bring this onto the screen for a second while I'm... Uh, da, 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 just... There you go. I ignore the activate windows in the bottom right. I upgraded my motherboard uh, a little while ago, and then it just lost my registration. So that's that. <laughs> Uh, let me take this next jump. Going to Mesavir. I think you're getting ahead of me here. So I'm at the uh, Roars calculator. So these are all the jumps that, that Sith takes for uh, for Galmil, basically. If you're in a Galmil corp. I understand you can't be like in yeah, the... Citadel yeah. Hauling is how I call it, but S-I-T-H-S. Citadel Hauling. Citadel Haulings, okay. So you don't haul for the Galenti Militia NPC Corps. You have to be in a player corp, is that correct? Uh, I, I handle anything that gets issued to Citadel Hauling. I check and make sure they're in Gal Mill. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, again, right. this is the advantage of doing it this way. This, this Citadel Hauling was a spin off of Galactic Hauling. And, and a lot of the inspiration for the free shipping that I'm offering as part of the season collection. All right. And so you wanted me to look at the the con the all contracts, right? You want me to look over here? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all, all con contracts and click all. There you go. 
There we go. Oh! <laughs> so, you've completed over 3,000 contracts. Or, or uh, Citadel Hauling has completed over yes, 3,000. With, with help. <laughs> <I have other laughs> <hauling. laughs> since June. Over 3,000 completed contracts since June. Uh, is this a significant number? Uh, and a lot of comboing, which cuts down the cost a lot. That means I just keep packing it into the cargo. Uh, this isn't something we would do in Galactic Hauling. Galactic Hauling is a lot simpler. We spun off Citadel Hauling, uh, so we could offer all these extra features, like the comboing of loads and the build, centralized billing, uh, and, and being able to uh, offer all those routes and, and uh, uh, get the various jump freighter pilots I know uh, access to it, and the like. Even the, even the stranger signals way off in the corner. Okay. I, I know I used y'all recently. I talked about this on stream a, a, little, uh, a couple uh, days back. Uh, I used y'all to get a, uh, a bunch of wolves delivered for me, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Happy to help out. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's a, there's a raptor right there. Better get out of here. That's gonna. I have a feeling this is gonna be bad. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm about to land right in a gate camp. Um, so let's. Brief, let... brief pause while we pay attention to the game. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Uh, back uh, focused here. And I'm now in Hade. Okay, and I have a clear shot to HQ. Now, obviously, not every contract's going to be this this simple. I'm just I'm I'm doing it for show. But you're gonna you're hauling you know 360,000 M3 right now. Yeah, about 60,000 more than you. <laughs> yeah, uh, and so I'm gonna be. Times more. Yes, uh, so I'm gonna hang out uh, right here on the undock of the HQ because this is where you're coming to. So I'm gonna hang out here on the undock. Um, so we can what are you are you here yet? Are you in route? I am in route. Uh, I'm setting up the first Sino. Unfortunately, I did not think that Rifter was going to be that fast. <laughs> uh, when you're so, I do a lot of punching up. I do a lot of um, like I dive into fights I shouldn't, and so I've worked on this fit for a while to make it what I need to make it to do that. Um. So we're going to hang out here while we wait for you. Let's talk. Um, give me just a second. Let's talk about, uh, I guess, more about what you're going to be bringing to, you know, what what you're offering if you get voted in. So let's let's talk about that again. Uh, free shipping. Uh, tell me how that, that's going to work specifically. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You you create one paid contract with, uh, uh, with Galactic Hauling. And uh, when I win the election, I will move a free load of yours made by the same alt, anywhere but null sec, same, t same conditions as the first contract, 4,360,000 uh, meters cubed, and I'll do that every month through 2023. Um, if you have multiple alts, hey, why not go make multiple contracts with Galactic Hall? Each one has to be paid. We do have that minimum rate of 210 million. Joining a jump freighter isn't cheap, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you buy one, you get you get 11 free. Is that, does that sound right? Uh, Sure, let's do that. <laughs> uh, I said 2023, but, you know, I, if it works, I'm going to be carrying this all the way to 2024 for re-election purposes, right? Hey. <laughs> let's see. So so you, you buy one, you get five free, it sounds like, through 2023. You know, elections in June, July, so all that. I'd say seven free, right? Yeah. June, July, yeah. So it's, there's seven months left, and, and I'm, I'm ready to extend it if this all works out. And so I have I have his uh, stuff pulled up again. We have, uh, you know, the rules for uh, Galactic Calling Solutions. Um, his name is Beacon Boy. Saves the day. Uh, join his channel. Uh, they have, uh, you know, up to three hundred sixty thousand M three anywhere except Nolar Wormhole Space. Minimum two ten, but uh, that's for four, uh, four billion collateral. <laughs> 
right? That's right, and and that's the only that's our lowest rate. We we have two rates: two hundred and ten million and three hundred million. The three hundred million has a higher collateral at seven billion. Now that's that still seems pretty affordable. <laughs> yeah, it's much faster delivery too. It's a guaranteed twenty-four hour delivery from contract creation. All right. Um, so I got a Phoenix. Good. <laughs> it went away. <laughs> I was not going to bring in a jump trade with a Phoenix. Oh, so is this your venture here? Uh, that is correct. You'll look. Who's that CEO of? That is a CEO of Siths, it looks like. So, uh, there we go, yeah. So we're gonna see you coming in here in a second. Um, don't worry, uh, all these guys are uh, Galmil out here, so you don't have to worry about them. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about them. I was just worried about the Phoenix. So when you're like jump for air, there are scenarios where you can be alpha in one shot. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, again, if you're in Galmil, uh, go on to galmil.fun, go to freight. You can have stuff shipped from. I'll pull that up again because that's uh, that showed all of our routes, right? Uh, so. Uh, Here I come. Oh. There we go. Oof. There I am. There's that Rhea. Yeah, and uh, just you know, to put it all in perspective, um, there is another uh, load waiting for me here. <laughs> has one i just picked it I, i'm just trying to put it all in context so what i've done is and, and sorry if i wasn't too talkative for the last minute or two but you know when you when you're hauling you you got to focus and, and look for phoenixes <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh yeah i picked up a public contract it had sat in the public queue for at least three days and uh you know it was a short one pretty good for this demonstration purposes you can tell if i had to go through like three sinos it would have been a bit mundane um, and then uh, drop off here and, and look for the next contract to move, which will be nearby. And so is the reward on that contract? Uh, that one was $250 million. Uh, And you made that in 10 minutes? Uh, yeah. 10, 15 minutes maybe you made 200. That's, a pretty, that's pretty good. <laughs> I, I recommend to anyone who really has a, a tenacious attitude and can really commit... Uh, a lot of ISK and a lot of tr uh, learning, learning, not just you know training, not just skills in the skill queue, um, and, and 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 is willing to put chunks of time. And you, you know you can do it any time, but you do have to put you know the time in it, to do this in 15 minutes. It's, it's been it's, it's pretty quick, uh, very unrealistic. It's probably more like a half hour uh, per, per per thing. But you can. Dip into the public queue. Uh, obviously, I have the Citadel hauling queue. There's the Galactic hauling queue, and I can sort of cobble them together and h literally hop from, you know, start 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 one here, end it there, pick up the next one nearby, go there, and I just have little routes I go around uh, beyond what was just listed there. So let let's say I wanted to find a courier contract. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on courier, you know, all regions because I'm you know I'm new to this. How do I find a good contract? What, what's a good what's a good reward for collateral, or is it based on number of jumps? Well, you know, because I'm a jump freighter pilot, I, I have limitations on my searching criteria. Okay. Point. So, uh, you know, I, as I, I won't look at anything uh, under fifteen million reward, because it, it clutters up things, and there's lots of small reward contracts. So I have a minimum of fifteen on the reward. And then I have like a maximum volume of 386,000, which is, you know, if you really trick out a Rhea, you can, you can get that much in it. Uh, our limit is 360,000 because we have to carry a lot of extra stuff. Sino supplies, Sino ships, big modules like jump drive economizers. So we, we you know, have a, a lower than that 386,000 meters cubed uh, uh, upper limit. Okay. Um, 
And uh, then you do you punch the search button, and I will always order it by reward if you want to know how to get my attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Why, why don't you give that a shot and see what comes up? Uh, well, I'm looking at it right now. I put in I put in your stuff. All regions, minimum 15, maximum volume 300. Uh, we're going to do 360. We are 360. Uh, so we have we have this contract from Eggbinger to uh, let's look at this contract. It's going from Eggbinger 11 to uh, where is that going to? It's, it's near Jita. It's a couple of hops off of Jita. Yeah. It's effectively a Jita run. Or J Jita, Jita, whatever way you say it. So what is this a good contract or is this a scam? Because that seems like it's a bit too good to be true, right? Uh, you know, I've been watching those for a week now. Two weeks, about actually, maybe even two weeks now. Kind of surprised no one's taken it. I know a few jump freighter pilots that you know I work with that I, mean, I thought they would go for it. Um, I'm generally pretty busy, so I don't jump on those. Um, but uh, I'm a little surprised. They, they sent them e an email saying, "Hey, toss in an extra ten million and just stuff it in the galactic calling queue, and it'll be done." by the end of the day <laughs> <laughs> so okay if i let's say i accept this contract right now uh, is there anything they can do to scam me once the contract has been accepted or is it live at that point well what happens is the plastic wrap appears in egg, 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 how do you say egg finger and um you uh can't get scanned uh, scammed if you get it to the destination in 14 days uh, okay there, there's nothing about that, no, no problems, no nothing. Uh, if you didn't have a ship big enough, that's when you go to Channel Galactic Call, uh, you know, GHSOL. You go to uh, Channel GHSOL and, and say, hey, I need some help. I got in too deep. <laughs> and we'd uh, you'd probably have to pay us most of that reward, and we could help you out. Um, I assume you don't have anything that can move 360,000 meters cube. Right? No, I don't. <laughs> um, you know, I, I bailed out a lot of regular freighter haulers. Because they, you know, see that reward, they punch accept a little too quickly and might not have noticed it was in uh, low sec. Uh, right. And at that point, they sort of recontract over to me, and then I move it for them for the 210 million. Uh, generally, that type of thing works out. But yeah, scamming wise, it's an NPC to NPC station move, so it's not that complicated. Um, they can camp. But with two weeks to move, they got a long time to camp. They can camp either station. Uh, there are some well-known stations that have big gate camps. Um, and uh, uh, in some situations, I do my special tricks to handle that. But I'm not going to go into that in an interview because that's the tricks of the trade. Right. <laughs> come to Calling and uh, come to Drunk Lack Calling Solutions, and I'll, I get a lot more loose-lipped about how to do things. <laughs> All right. Uh well, thank you for... Go ahead. One more thing. Scamming, uh, just I want to point this out. Uh, if it was a Citadel, there's all sorts of ways that can hinder you from docking. Um, and in addition to that, you might, if it's in low sec, you might show up and find you can't... You know, you've accepted it far away, you know, you know, at, you know at some other system in the region, and then you're trying to dock, and now you can't pick up because they've locked you out. Uh, most of the scams center around that. I have had situations where they're small. If you have a very small package, they're expecting you to pick it up in a small ship, and they'll instant lock you, and obviously blow you out of the water as you undock from the starting point. Um, in my case, uh, I always disappoint them because they show up with the jump rare and they can't do anything to it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there, there's plenty of opportunities to scam out there. Um, I, I think we covered the major ones. There, there's some more minor ones. Um, you know, the uh, you'll notice that no one really likes citadels, and the main reason I do with uh, Gal Mill is they they made arrangements with me so that uh, I am compensated if I ever am unable to dock for whatever reason. Well, all right. Uh... I think that wraps up uh, everything that I had. Um, when CSM uh, voting opens, uh, Beacon Boy Saves the Day is offering free hauling to people who vote for him. <laughs> number one. Put me in the number one slot. No one knows. Just you and me. <laughs> and then um, 
Yeah, and remember, that's a, a free shipping if you've created a paid contract with Galactic Calling. That's how I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and you make your paid, paid contract. Uh, if you want to move one trick from Cheetah to Perimeter, go for it, you know? <laughs> I don't, it doesn't have to be a lot of cargo. <laughs> but with that paid contract, you end up on the list. Once I've won, I'm going to be reaching out to everyone and setting up the free shipping every month for them. All right. Uh, so I'm going to wrap up the stream now. So if there's a video that you can show all your friends, um, then we're going to uh, start our normal low sex stuff. You'll have a link that you can, uh, you know, spread around uh, Beacon Boy so that you, know, you can show everyone, hey, you know, here's the interview. Here's what I do. Here's what we talked about this. But uh, that's it for me uh, for the interview. Thank you so much for being on stream, uh, sir. I was, uh, I was very pleased to do this, and uh, I appreciate your tagging along. I haven't had to, to do that, and, and I, I promise to have a faster ship next time. <laughs> well, all right. So uh, I'm closing the stream. When I open back up, we're going to be doing our normal low-sex stuff. And thank you for watching.